There you go, the old NBC chimes from yeah. uh, Mark Panopoulos. Yeah, and uh, Mark for our uh, Lucy Goosey chime time. We, we are here at the Appalachian, it's Christmas Eve, and the bar is full of yeah, Georgetown it's, it's folks. pretty busy. Well, we don't want to say full. We don't want to get anybody in trouble. They're at their, you know, they're keeping capacity Absolutely. rules in yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and we signed our thing when we came in yeah, the bar. Yeah, and, doing uh, the contact tracing, you know, and well, all that's that important, stuff. you know. I mean, yeah. hey, if something happens, it's right there. Yeah, you don't want to be good to know where you got it from. Exactly. I guess in a way, you know, because you'd be, you'd be wondering at that point, uh, anybody that's got this, you know, we see the numbers going skyrocketing now. I do question this about the numbers going up as much as they are right now. Is this because now all these rapid tests are out there and people are testing more? Yeah. You probably. know what I mean? The numbers got to be up because they're testing more than you would be walking into a clinic sure. or a hospital. How often as a guy do you not want to go to the doctor and find out what's wrong with you? Yeah, you know what I'm mean? struggling with that for a while now. So, you know, <laughs> it's you kind of, uh, yeah, you kind of, you kind of wonder, you know, when you see these numbers spiking as high as they are. And people are like, why? What's going on? We're not really doing anything different. Well, yes, we are. We're, we've got all these rapid tests out there now. Yeah. yeah. So they're being reported. Yeah. You know, so you, you kind of sit back and go. Anyway, welcome everybody. Big Daddy Russ Horton, myself, Lee Lake, and Leah Lyawood is off today. Like he said, it is uh, Christmas Eve here at the Appalachian. These are turkey, and this, uh, the outside ones are ham. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. No, I'm perfect. I'm good. Thanks. Also, also, this is <laughs> can I take his? I, I can't. Can I take his? I'm going to take his. I can't have cream Thanks, cheese, buddy. So. Thank you See? very much. See? Christmas spirit. That's our hometown. Man. Yeah. Christmas you know, spirit. giving, giving, giving. I'm on a strict diet right now, so oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, gotta, you, I forgot about that. I, I gotta watch what I'm doing and, and what I'm putting into my body every day. It must be hard to turn food down on TV. It is. It's challenging, and I really didn't want to insult the guy, but oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I, I don't need to be in a day of pain on Christmas Day. I really don't need to be in pain on Christmas Day. And cream cheese is one of those high ones for me. Anyway, uh, like I said, uh, Leo Lywood's off Christmas Eve here at the Appalachian. Uh, they're doing their Christmas turkey dinner, obviously, of course. Uh, yeah. When you guys all see this, it'll be done and over with. It'll be Boxing Day, but uh, uh, good to see you. They're busy, though, like you yeah, said. They are. Yeah, they are. Uh, and it's Christmas Eve, and it feels good here. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a, a good atmosphere. Town feeling. A very good atmosphere. And we're brought to you, as always, by Max Tires, 905. Eight seven. What was the number? Of Max tires again? I forgot. It doesn't matter. Max tires. One sixty one Guelph. No, sixty one Guelph Street. Can wow, you tell? You're... No. Can you tell that I just you drinking eggnog over there? Fall out of bed, man. I mean, I'm just. <laughs> it's early for you. I. It, it is early for me, yeah. and uh, uh, I, my apologies to Max tires, but everybody knows where they are. They're at sixty one Guelph Street. Nine two five five and don't 9, 2, you forget 5, it. 5. I'm only joking. Nine zero five eight seven seven nine two five five and don't you forget it and of course Fred's towing and easy taxi the guys uh, all wish you all the very best and uh, who is sponsoring today Appalachian well, of course the Appalachian uh, you know uh, they're at uh, 62 Wall Street are they or Main Street North well they're in the Moore Park Main Plaza. Street North they're in the Moore Park Plaza uh, 905-877-9888 and uh, you can always order takeout whatever if you don't want to stop in for a beer you can order some good takeout Manny in the kitchen doing a fine job and uh, like I said doing their turkey dinner you you've ordered a couple for uh, tomorrow yep. yourself and uh, every holiday uh, I come here yourself yourself and Sue and uh, that's fantastic every so, day we come every every holiday we come here yeah and uh, it's, 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 it's a, a huge time. meal for 25 bucks I can't but believe it. for 50 yeah. bucks you should see what you get oh well you ate for like a week well I showed you half I of know it, remember and you said that I said that's half of it you said that's not all of it I said no yeah. that's half of it yeah and uh, Manny of course uh, has a certain way of making turkey that is absolutely yeah exquisite. he's in there he's in there doing one right I can now. smell it yeah he's yeah. actually he's doing one right now I was in talking with him uh, the big the, the show so. the big story I guess would be 700 I gotta stop touching my face I know stop touching your face big daddy uh, 700 new ones in, yeah. in Halton region that's that's a fair number I, it's not split up. It doesn't really matter. There's 700 new ones. Well, like I said, you know, is, uh, is this because we're getting the results from all this rapid testing? So that's exactly what I think is going on. As it's got to be, you know. And, the, and you know what kills me though, and I, I noticed this today. I, I do flip on CP24 once in a blue moon. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't watch it all the time, but I don't watch it all the time. But I did see on it today that um, uh, you know they keep saying it's COVID-19 cases. It's, they're not saying whether it's a COVID-19 or an Omicron. 
You know what I mean? They're not dif differentiating between the two. And the other thing is, is the ICU numbers are not going stupid. No. If they were getting, you know, let's say a thousand people in the ICU, I'd be concerned. Yeah. But the fact that the ICU numbers are not really changing that much, most and of the people that are getting it are getting through it. And the South African numbers are coming down. Yeah, which yeah, is I a heard good that. sign. So maybe by the end of the holidays, we'll have phased out of this crap. Hopefully. Um, back to uh, getting somewhat normal because restaurants like this and businesses, we, how long do you think we're going to survive Live music. like this? You know what I mean? <laughs> our hockey's uh, shut down. Our, our hockey's our, shut down. The like, Leafs aren't playing. The Habs aren't playing. Um, you know, well, the, uh, Habs, the NBA. The Habs really weren't playing anyway. No, they weren't. <laughs> they, were, that, they went down the whole, old toilet. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Tabernacle is what I say. Uh, but, uh, um, but uh, you know, I mean, we're so sick of living like this for yeah. two years. We want to get out of it, and hopefully, with the South African numbers coming down, that's good. Hopefully. So, so to our local news, okay. anyway. Okay. Ontario's chief medical officer of health stated the COVID-19 case numbers will probably hit an all-time high in the coming weeks, and we're expecting it. Kieran Moore, Dr. Kieran Moore, uh, mentioned the Omicron variant has become the dominant strain of COVID-19 in Ontario and uh, being four to eight times more transmissible. Wow. That's the problem. Yeah. You're going to catch a bad cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are currently tracking to have more cases per day than we have had at any time during the pandemic. But, uh, you know, is that really a bet? Like you say, with the testing going on and everything going well, on this is it. They're doing far more testing, so, you know, numbers are going to change when that happens. There could have been people... I mean, it's not, it's not fun that's going on right no. now, but oh, it's no. not the same as it was in 2019, 20... This time last then, year. You know, I mean, it was worse. You figure this time last year, we were on lockdown, lockdown last year, like serious lockdown. I'm surprised we have... <laughs> Quebec's already done it. Well, well, yeah, but at the same time... Like I said, when they're handing out all these extra testing, you're going to see the numbers change, and and I think that's part of it. And yeah. and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon because again, like I said, they're not differentiating between the COVID-19 strain and the Omicron strain. They're just calling it all COVID-19. So, how many of them are Omicron? How many are you know? If the ICU numbers start to skyrocket, I will have concerns. Mm -hmm. We will have you know a problem. Good point. Good point. So you know. Uh, the region stated Wednesday that there are two outbreaks at uh, congregate living spaces here in Halton Hills. Both were declared on December 20th, uh, 21st and both involve at least two infections for a total of four. Unless there's a large public safety risk on an appeal for contact tracing, Halton Region usually doesn't reveal the names or addresses of certain places with outbreaks including workplaces and congregate living spaces. I tend to agree with that a little bit. You don't really need to put panic into people. Uh, outbreaks in congregate living settings take in, uh, take in places where people live together, such as shelters, group homes, prisons, uh, but not private households. As so, long as the people are taken care of, and that's uh, the main thing, right? Go through the proper yeah. precautions and, and everything. Uh, I can't see a problem yeah. with that. No, I agree. We don't need to know who it is. Again, uh, we're not here. We're, it, it's not here. about anybody's fault this and that it's just what they're doing about it if they're if they're being proactive about it and doing what they're supposed to yeah good for you that's what we want right now one thing you have to remember with the holiday season coming up Halton Healthcare is encouraging everyone to make sure that they have enough prescriptions and medical supplies in advance to help avoid an unnecessary visit to the emergency department um, according to Halton uh, Healthcare, shorter operating hours of walk-in clinics of course and physicians offices over these so oh, holiday season are yeah, shut up, right? Uh, so please make sure that you have your prescriptions because they don't want to see you in the emergency or something no. like that. No, they have enough problems. And in there. a lot of cases, uh, depending on the on the prescription, you can, that doctor can't sign for it. It's got to come from your family physician. So that's right. And if know. they give you a pill, uh, it's only one or two to keep, and you got to go back again the next day. Yeah. So, it's not uh, worth it. Get your I always, you know, like my insulin, I always make sure, just knowing over the Christmas holidays that there's uh, days closed, I always check it in my fridge, make sure it's mm -hmm. stocked up. And, you know, I, the last thing I could want to run out of is that stuff and end up in the emergency room because I, I didn't have it, right? So, uh, you know, but anyway, uh, this is an interesting story. We really haven't talked about this much. And this is another situation, uh, you know, going on in the court systems. Uh, with a backlog of cases and the scarcity of judicial resources has resulted in numerous parking infractions still awaiting hearings with the possibility of cancellation completely altogether. Discussed at a recent council meeting, the situation has prompted the town to actually take some action. 
Halton Hills has brought forward a motion to urge the Chief Justice to quickly resolve the lack of judicial resources in the Provincial Offences Act courts so that important hearings can be scheduled and addressed in a timely manner because in this country they have to be done in a timely manner or they get thrown out of court. You mm -hmm. cannot process it quick enough it gets thrown out of court. So, and what's the guy doing handing out tickets if it's not going to be... Uh, if it's not going to have a result at the end of it, right? You know, uh, Mayor Rick Burnett made these comments. Uh, the current judicial delays are directly impacting our enforcement services and the revenue that is derived from these penalties. So yeah, you know, yeah. That's, that's exactly and what every I'm town, uh, I, I'm sure everybody's going through that. It can't be just Halt Mills. I'm, you know, you know even smaller municipal, larger municipalities got to be going through that. But you can understand our town needs the bread to keep things going. Well, it's all part of, yeah, it's part of the intake, right, to keep the outtake it, going. In it comes, out it goes, in it comes. And it, if it doesn't come in, then it, it ain't going out. I normally don't drink beer, but it's Christmas, it's and they, Christmas. they gave me a beer, so. And besides, there's no uh, CRTC regulations on us here. No, that too. Uh, by the way, the CRTC love Big Daddy. They, they love, love both of us. They love both of us. Um, okay, this is a serious story. Georgetown's Arthur Dale Wood yes. was sentenced earlier this week to 18 months at an Ontario correctional institution as well as 36 months of probation in a uh, sex assault case. After pleading guilty, the former private music teacher was convicted of gross indecency, three counts of sexual assault with four students. The sentence is less than the Crown's recommendation of two years minus one day. Uh, but more than the defense's wish for a sentence of 12 to 15 months. That's that's I mean, uh, and that story's been going on for a that, long time. That's that's me. Yeah, uh, I think that actually was one of our first stories when we started this. I think that's been going on for like five or six yeah. years, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been. And, it, it's and Big Daddy and I were talking about this. We want to thank all of our our viewers out there and our and our listeners and and uh, people that comment on our Facebook page. Uh, you know, we we're way over 50 episodes on these shows, and we've been doing it a long time. Yeah, we have. And uh, you know, ending this year on a high note for us really is a, yep. is a great thing. And we well, thank our numbers are way up, and uh, yeah. people are starting to and realize. We thank all of you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, yep. you guys have tuned in and watched. We, we're going to have some more now tonight. They were inquiring about what's going on, and uh, yeah, it's fun to uh, to be a part of that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's fun. Christmas is fun. I mean, for adults and kids. Absolutely. Uh, we seem to look forward more to the turkey. And the, and the sleep on the couch. The kids want the, the presents, of course, but the values are always there. It's but, you know, I think, I think more, more and more people, uh, you know, spending a little time with the family this year as opposed to last year is a big step forward. You know, it's a, it's a, it, look at it as positive. People don't look at it as a negative. If you're not together with all of your family, but at least you're together with your loved ones. Uh, Can't be all bad when we're no. sitting here drinking Coors Light on Christmas Eve. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, another news story, our priority at the town is to keep staff and residents safe as, safe as we continue to adapt the ever-changing landscape of the COVID-19 pandemic. Here is Rick uh, Bennett's message on the Omicron variant over the holidays. He commented, I know we are all getting weary of the escalating COVID cases and cancellations as we look to the holidays, but we need to remain vigilant and continue to pull together to help us stop the spread of Omicron and the most contagious COVID variant to date. The town is working with our regional and provincial partners to provide an updated information as quickly as possible as COVID protocols continue to evolve. I urge you to visit our website for regional and provincial COVID-19 updates and any holiday closures. You can find information on vaccines and testing, service closures and adjustments, and supports for residents and businesses on the website. So that's a comment and our mayor's, I guess, Christmas message. Yeah, I can't believe he's taken off. I know. I know. What would he's, this town be without he's, Mayor he's, Rick? He's gonna, he's gonna head to Wasaga and relax and enjoy. He's, he deserves it. Absolutely. He's been here a long time. Well, speaking of councillors and uh, and uh, and such, it's not something local residents see happen every day. But plans for a new housing development that were turned down by council earlier this year are back on the drawing board and moving ahead in your town. Yes. Uh, during the December 13th meeting, Halton Hills Council endorsed revised plans for nine townhome units located at 20 Ransom Street, down from the 10-unit proposal previously denied by the local politicians after hearing concerns of the community. <laughs> I love it. Very good, guys. Right on, boys. 
The developer appealed. Where was I? Here. All right. <laughs> Sing, I'm, I'm trying to remember the words to what oh, yeah, they're singing yeah. and the words on here. Uh, during the December 13th meeting, Halton Hills Council endorsed revised plans for nine townhomes, uh, units located at 20 Ransom Street and acted down from the 10 unit proposed previously denied by the local politicians after hearing concerns from the community. This is a real stink. Yeah. Uh, Councillor Clark Somerville actually voted against it. Yes. Uh, the developer appealed the first council decision to the Ontario Land Tribunal and recently proposed a settlement with the town to stray away from the hearing and plans to increase visitor parking and backyard sizes and prohibit second floor decks and balconies on the property that's, of course, uh, causing all the problems. And uh, it's currently taken up by one house. That's the yeah. one house there, you know. Yeah. But the revised plans still go over well with nearby residents, that uh, don't go over well with nearby residents who turned out at a virtual council meeting and raised a stink, and they're not happy. And I can see why. I, uh, I think those uh, virtual council meetings have become quite popular. Yeah, because are, uh, more people, people don't have to. Get, they don't have to go to the town hall. They can actually just no, go because online. We're, and... Basically, we're lazy at heart now. <laughs> human exactly. beings. We don't want to get off the couch. That's right. Uh, we did talk about Halton's budget there a couple of weeks ago. We talked about this story, but they have finally given the thumbs up to next year's budget with the pandemic-related costs continuing to move uh, the municipality's spending. The 2022 financial plan for the region takes in a 2% property tax increase for regional services and a 2.5% for the region's Halton Police Services as well on top of that. Put together, the overall increase in the Halton portion of your tax bill will be 2.2%, which works out to an additional $5.85 or $5 per $100,000 of the assessed value of your home. So that's pretty much about the average value of a home in Georgetown, I think, mm -hmm. around that five, six hundred thousand dollars 600000 So but the problem is when you own a home, you want to sell it, you got to move to another home. That's right. So you have to do it all over. Yeah, you know, definitely. So, uh, exactly. Now, our own Tessa Chiapuka. Yeah. Remember at the Olympics, she, she was doing well. She came fourth or something. Yeah. Yeah, like it was up there. She was 14th, I think. But or 14th, listen to this. Still, yeah. Our own Tessa Chiapuka of Georgetown won the gold medal in the women's 400 meter individual medley at the FINA World Swimming Championships in Abu Dhabi, just down the road. Yeah. Uh, a yeah, few we days ago. We were there ago. last weekend. Yes, we were. Right. There As a matter weekend. of fact. Uh, we were. We so. had some beers and uh, some chicken wings. Yeah, great in chicken Abu wings. Dhabi. Yes. Great chicken wings. Uh, they're spicy enough. Almost as good as here, but not quite. Not quite. Not Nothing quite. beats the Appalachian yeah. wings. No, definitely. So, we, we're doing a short video this week. We're not going to stay long. We want to thank all of our viewers for this last year. It's been absolutely spectacular because our numbers keep going up. And, you know, our subscriptions to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'd love to have you hooked up on there. You can comment, you can make all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, you can rewind and watch it as many times as you want. We've got, uh, I think we've got close to 20 or 30 episodes on the uh, YouTube channel now. So uh, anybody who uh, has subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, obviously our Facebook pages, our radio stations, you know, F, uh, fm108.ca. And, uh, GTA. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Radio GTA and of course Hill Hills, Hills Online. Online. And, and doing this every week has just been absolutely fantastic. We love uh, bringing it to you every week. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love these guys. You gotta love these guys. I, I do. Uh, you know, this, this is, is why, we, this is why yeah. we do this from here every week. Yeah, it's fun, man. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And uh, as you can hear, it's getting a little busier as, uh, as the night goes on. They're closing early tonight like everybody else. It's Christmas Eve. Yeah. Uh, I want to wish you guys uh, the very best and Merry Christmas. And, uh, yeah. And to look, all of you. Yeah, we look to another year of bringing you uh, more entertainment, more live music. Thank uh, you to our sponsors, Max Tires, all French of our Towing, Easy Taxi, yeah. Appalachian Restaurant. Appalachian, uh, Concept Leather, Zena, you did a great job on my jacket, Concept Leather, Downtown Acton. Uh, oh, the dinner jackets are in, by the way. Yeah, the dinner jackets are in from JV Clothing, so thanks to JV Clothing for that. Uh, you know, Concept Leather, Downtown Georgetown. Zena got my coat done. Awesome job, so thank you to her so much. On the lapel of the Acton dinner jacket. And by the way, people say to me, why are you making fun of Acton? I'm not. I we love don't make Acton. Fun of Acton. We it's, don't. I love Acton. I love Georgetown. I love this town. This is my town. These are my people. And Acton always it's gets the brunt of jokes. It's the little I hate brother. That. Yes. 
And I'm a little brother, so right. I know what that's like. That's right. You know, they are a statement from us saying, hey, we're a cool place. I and we're Acton, Canadian as hell. Air, and that Friday night jam from Lee's Garage will be back in the spring oh, again. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. But again, good. thank you all so much. We really love you guys, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, and it's a great ride, man. Peace, man. Cheers. Cheers. Have yourself a Merry great new year. Little Christmas. Well, we've already passed Christmas by the time this airs, so at least have yourself a great new year. Don't drink and drive. Call Easy Taxi. That's right. Thank you so much, and I'm going to do this right now. Uh, what was it we have to say? Um, we're driven by what? You come and say it. Say it. We're driven, Communities driven by, by community, community. You navigate, navigate, and we drive. See? See, I'm just totally out of it today. But Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.